Hey, I'm Steven, a salon guy, and welcome to my new show on my YouTube channel called TRH, Total Request Hair. This is where you guys send me requests on haircuts and certain things you wanna see. You simply make requests, and then I come through and do them for you. So today's and our first official episode is a request of Lisa Renna, who's got amazing hair, and I've gotten a lot of requests to do this haircut. So as you can see in my mannequin here, I'm gonna actually make this mannequin over and give her a Lisa Rinna haircut. So let's get started. Using my shears, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna establish the length throughout the whole head, starting throughout the bottom section here. I'm using the fine teeth, as you can see here, and I'm just going to determine where I want this to go. And I've seen var different variations of her hair. Uh, so we'll go with something around here that starts pretty much right at the nape. All right, and again, you've seen me do this before. Just basically comb it down, no tension, and cut a straight line all the way across. Now that I've established the base in through here, what I'm going to do, is, as you know, she's got pretty layered hair um, throughout the whole thing, but she still has some length to it. So it's, it's, it's short, but it doesn't look super, super short. So here is where I went up one more section, uh, right below the occipital bone here in the back and I created the base so it's a little more solid down here. Now what I'm gonna do, now that I have a solid base, is I'm going to put, pull everything out vertically from the head. And as you can see, here is the bottom layer down here. This is the length, at the very, very bottom. So you've got all of this in here that needs to be cut. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut vertical section, like so. I'm just gonna do this throughout the whole back of the head. And you see, I didn't touch anything on the bottom. This right here is the length, not touched. So we're preserving that length. And then there's all the layers right there. That's what's gonna give it that whole flip. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring everything uh, back to the previous section. And I'm going to basically do this throughout the whole back of the head. And when I get into the corners here, just real quick, one I want to share with you guys is I'm going to bring everything straight back. I'm not going to hold it out too much this way, just because I want to keep a little length and weight in there so I don't create any holes. So I'm just going to go and finish this whole back section throughout the whole head, and we're going to stop so we get around here, and they'll go over and see uh, what we have going on. All right, I'm just gonna recap what I did here. So again, at the base, I started and I cut the baseline just to make it a nice solid base in through here. And then what I did is I held everything out vertically, went throughout the whole back, and just basically brought everything straight out and went and followed the head shape. All right, and up here, uh, we're gonna have it a little bit shorter throughout the top here. So it's gonna work into where this is a little bit longer, but what's gonna happen is, as you can see, it's gonna get like, and a lot of it comes in with a styling, but here's where the flips and all the other stuff starts to come in. Uh, so you'll see that's, that creates that, that style. What I wanna do now is just go back and cut everything and, and cross check it horizontally just to make sure I am balanced because this haircut, even though it looks really messy and choppy, it's very, very balanced and even. And you wanna make sure that everything is pretty well balanced and cross-checked and, and just has a nice even flow to all. So as you can see, I'm just going through this relatively quickly. <clears throat> cross-checking can be somewhat depressing, especially if <laughs> you're not the greatest at haircutting because you're gonna go, oh boy, I need to really uh, fix this up. And you know, depending on how many drinks you've had while you're cutting, it's really gonna show in your work. So I like to just cross-check uh, just to make sure everything is balanced. And as you can see, everything looks really, really good. So now that this back is done, I'm now gonna work into the sides, cut the base length, and then uh, we'll work towards layering the sides too. I, create, I worked up my way from the sides here and worked this angle up and right in through the front here, as you can see. Uh, and then I'm just kind of chip into it. Again, this might require some, you know, going in when it's dry or whatever. 
Uh, and of course, we have to take this a little bit shorter in the front here. But this is how you get that angle in through the front. So I'm going to repeat this on, I'm going to continue bringing these sections down like so. And I'm going to bring everything, you can see the guide, I'm just going to cut everything to the guide. And I'm going to repeat this on the other side. This is the complete uh, right side of the head, which is done on you know my right side here. And as you can see, it's actually starting to look like Lisa a little bit. Hey Lisa, how you doing girl? I loved you on Celebrity Apprentice. Mm -hmm. All right, as you can see, uh, our Lisa Renna look is kind of coming together here. And uh, the flips are coming in. Everything's pretty much coming in. I haven't even layered it yet. So what I'm gonna do now is actually go throughout the layering process throughout the sides and then the top. Uh, and believe it or not, then we do the texturizing and we're actually close to being done. All right, so now for the top. What we're gonna do is we're gonna actually connect what we did from the back and we're gonna do that all throughout the whole front. And you're gonna be able to see the guide at the top back of the head. And what we're gonna do is actually, like you always see me do this, instead of bringing it straight up, I'm actually gonna take a section like so and find my guide and then cut a piece straight across not horizontally, but vertically, just so I'm blending everything in. Because if I were to take a, ver a horizontal section and cut it straight across, it might create a line uh, on the bo you know, in the back of the head, which means I'd have to go in and then redo the whole thing in the, in the top back, uh, just to kind of blend it all in. So I'm just going through this and doing a vertical section so I can connect the back and the, the top. All right, and that's going to create my guide then. So now that I've got this piece right here, there it is, that piece, I can then take my section, my first section on the top here, and find my guide with no problem, and there's the guide. And now everything I'm going to cut basically horizontally all across the top. All right, now you've seen me do this a million times. Okay, well, now that we're done with the top here, what I'm doing is I'm going into the corner, all right? Now what I'm doing with the corner is, because I wanna leave the length in through here, I'm gonna actually bring everything up like so and cut it square, all right? And that's gonna leave the length down in through here. I'm gonna repeat this on both sides All right, you're combing everything from the bottom and then over directing really just by rotating this, your right elbow or whatever elbow you're holding the shears with and you rotate it and that is what creates, allowing you to cut square. Here's the, here's the kind of the fun part here and this is where it really comes in together and this is what my little secret technique here to what keeps the hair having that really nice flip and those, those layers, because we got the layers all the way back here, which are relatively short, all right? And then we have to work them in through here, but also keep the length. So what I like to do is just leave out a bottom section here, okay? And then what we're gonna do is horizontally cut everything like so, get rid of all this weight in through here. And then blend, and it's going to work itself into the front. Right? See, that's where the, the layers are coming in. And work your way up to the top by repeating the same technique. Cutting horizontally. I'm also point cutting into this. And you'll be able to see your guide, and you'll be able to see the hair that needs to come off. So I'm going to do this working my way up through the head and then I'm gonna repeat this on the other side. All right, so like I said, the hair will start to speak to you. It'll fall into place. Uh, with these kind of haircuts, you really wanna be 
really aggressive. You want to do whatever you can to have the, the flips come out like, like so, as you can see here. Uh, it's really, really coming in nicely. Uh, so what we're going to do now is now we're going to texturize it. And this is really where the fun is going to begin uh, because, as you know, she's got a lot of texture. She had a lot of hair. Um, so this is now going to have uh, remove a lot of the weight and just really really soften this up and then we're gonna blow dry it and style it. The freaky thing is, this is actually starting to look a little like Lisa Rinna, which is kind of <laughs> nuts. So I'm actually, I'm gonna start with the razor, the feather razor as far as the first technique of, of texturizing. And all I'm gonna do is just really just scrape off the top layer and really just notch into it to remove some of that weight. Uh, and just to give it, again, that nice, uh, remove some of the excess weight, make it flip a little more. And I'm just going to go throughout the whole thing pretty aggressively and I'm holding everything out horizontally and I'm just kind of notching into it just to break it up a little bit and to and keep that texture and keep that separation going. I'm just going to follow throughout the whole head and if there's any pieces that are a little bit longer or you need to kind of remove any excess weight, this is a great way to do it instead of having to go back in with the, the scissors. And I'm just following the whole contour of the head from side to side. And uh, this is a great, great way to just really put the icing on the cake. And again, if there's any parts that are a little bit too long or they're, you know, a little more, a little more texturizing than others, this is a great way to do it. Uh, and quick as well. And from Lisa herself even said, she's got a lot, a lot of hair. So this really does need to be texturized quite a bit. All right, so now that that's done, I'm going to take my thinning shear and then, and then really start to, especially throughout the front here, really texturize and thin this out throughout the front. Another great technique, and you've seen me do it a million times, take the hair and twist into it, twist it and cut into it with, with the thinning shear. All right, this again is gonna give great texture to the hair. It's gonna remove any, any bulk, uh, and it's also gonna blend everything in uh, in a very soft way. <clears throat> I'm just going to continue this throughout the whole head. And again, don't be afraid. You want to be aggressive. Now the front here is where I really want to get, get a little uh, more aggressive with the texturizing because her, see all this coming off? Look at this. Lisa, you do have a lot of hair. <laughs> so in the front, as you know, you saw her, her front is very, very wispy. So what you can do is really towards the ends here, and also you can take this horizontally as well, I mean vertically, and really just slice into it, <clears throat> removing that excess weight throughout the front here, which is going to really soften up the whole fringe area. This is the best way to kind of reduce the weight and separate that, the fringe. What's crazy is I seriously think this looks like Lisa Renna, which is pretty scary. <laughs> uh, Alright, so what I'm going to do now, do now is I'm going to dry it. And I'm going to use the round brush a little bit to get some of the pieces in through here. And, and then we're going to uh, put a little paste in it and then we'll be done. All right, going to use a little tea tree shaping cream here, which again is one of my favorite pastes to use. And I got to say, this looks pretty amazing. Um, and this is on mannequin hair. So what you want to do is just kind of rake your fingers through everything, you know, and you can do it in like a raking method just like so. Uh, in the back here, you can just kind of, you know, mess it up and rake it out a little bit. Um, with your hands. This is the best way to kind of accentuate the pieces uh, just by kind of raking it like so. And the top here you can just kind of, you know, whatever you want to do with the top, mess it up a little bit. And you could spray it if you want. Um, you don't have to necessarily, but uh, I definitely think that this is, if not exactly, but pretty darn close to Lisa Rinna. Uh, and her and one of her many looks that she's had. Another variation of this is just really just to kind of really mess it up, you know. Um, and I, I've seen a lot of times her hair is just kind of all over the all over the place. It's not so, you know, perfect. It's it's really um, a lot more kind of shattered and messy, you know. But I've also seen it where it's it's uh, everything's perfect too. All the pieces. But just go in and mess it up and, you know, and just kind of, because of the, the haircut, uh, it's going to give you a different kind of look. So this is another kind of variation of it uh, with it being pretty, uh, pretty kind of messy and a little more texturized. 
All right, here's my finished look. Thank you so much, Lisa. <laughs> Thank you guys again. Thank you for all the requests. Keep them coming in. And every Thursday, I'll be doing a special request that you guys send me. So in the comments below, leave one. You could also leave it on my channel comments as well. Or you can email me, Stephen at thesalonga.com, S-T-E-P-H-E-N. And I want to thank you for watching TRH, Total Request Hair. I'll see you guys next Thursday. And don't forget to watch all my other videos on my channel. Thanks so much, guys. Take care.